Okay, let's go. The Ra'ad, also known as Had 8, is Pakistan's powerful response to modern warfare demands. This air-launched cruise missile represents the country's commitment to maintaining a credible deterrence posture in the region, especially in the face of evolving strategic threats. It combines advanced guidance systems, precision strike capabilities, and nuclear deterrence, all packed into a compact and deadly delivery platform. Ra'ad is designed to be launched from fighter aircraft, most notably the Pakistan Air Force's Mirage 3 and JF-17 Thunder Jets. What makes this missile stand out is its ability to strike targets without putting the launching aircraft in direct danger. Being a standoff weapon, the Ra'ad allows the launch platform to fire from a safe distance, far from enemy air defenses, then quickly exit the combat zone. This is crucial in modern warfare, where anti-aircraft and radar systems can destroy planes before they even get within range. With a range of approximately 350 kilometers in its earlier versions, and up to 600 kilometers in Ra'ad 2, this missile gives Pakistan deep strike capabilities. It can target strategic enemy positions, command and control centers, radar installations, and even high-value military infrastructure without having to cross into hostile airspace. The extended range is not just a tactical advantage, it plays a strategic role in shaping deterrence and regional stability. The Ra'ad missile uses terrain-hugging flight to stay under enemy radar, navigating valleys and elevations while staying low. This stealth capability drastically increases the chances of it reaching its target without interception. It is guided by an advanced inertial navigation system INS, and GPS technology, providing accuracy within a few meters, deadly precision for such a compact weapon. One of the most critical features of the HAT-8 is its ability to carry both conventional and nuclear warheads. This dual capability ensures Pakistan can respond to threats across the full spectrum of conflict, from conventional warfare to full-scale nuclear engagement. The missile can deliver a warhead weighing around 450 kilograms, enough to cause significant destruction to fortified positions or clustered enemy units. In terms of propulsion, Ra'ad uses a turbojet engine. This engine provides enough thrust and fuel efficiency to keep the missile airborne for long-range missions, while also keeping the overall size compact enough to be launched from combat aircraft. Its airframe is sleek, designed with aerodynamic efficiency to enhance both speed and maneuverability, especially during the terminal phase of flight when evading enemy interception systems becomes critical. The development of the Ra'ad missile represents Pakistan's push towards achieving second strike capability. In the event of a nuclear attack, having a mobile, survivable, and air-launched platform ensures that Pakistan retains the ability to respond, deterring any adversary from attempting a first strike. This is a cornerstone of Pakistan's full-spectrum deterrence policy. The missile made its first public appearance in 2007, during a test flight that demonstrated successful navigation, range, and precision. Since then, various upgrades have been made to improve its performance. The most notable of these is the Ra'ad 2 variant, unveiled during Pakistan's Republic Day Parade in 2017. This version has a sleeker design, enhanced range, and reportedly even better guidance systems. It is also expected to be compatible with the JF-17 Block 3, which brings in added synergy between Pakistan's indigenous fighter program and its missile arsenal. Pakistan's Ra'ad missile adds a new dimension to its aerial strike capability. In any conflict scenario, being able to launch a precision-guided cruise missile from the air, without crossing borders, means having the power to control escalation dynamics. It also allows for limited but decisive strikes, which can prevent full-scale wars by demonstrating resolve without triggering excessive retaliation. Geopolitically, the Ra'ad is seen as a counter to India's BrahMos cruise missile. While the BrahMos is supersonic and land or sea launched, the Ra'ad focuses on stealth and aerial deployment. Each country continues to innovate and expand its capabilities, contributing to the strategic balance in South Asia. However, Pakistan's edge with air-launched cruise missiles provides tactical flexibility, especially when paired with the country's expanding fleet of multirole aircraft. Despite its growing capabilities, the Ra'ad program remains shrouded in secrecy. 
There are speculations about future versions being integrated with stealth features, enhanced electronic countermeasures, and even possible seer drone-based platforms. Pakistan's defense industry, under the Strategic Plans Division in NESCOM, has shown a steady capability to indigenize high-tech weapon systems like the Ra'ad. The missile's deployment is not just a matter of national security, it's a statement. It sends a clear signal to any adversary that Pakistan is prepared, well-equipped, and unwilling to compromise on its defense needs. The Ra'ad is not a weapon of aggression, it is a weapon of deterrence, a symbol of sovereignty, and a tool for maintaining peace through strength. With a balance of technology, accuracy, survivability, and deterrence, the Had-8 Ra'ad plays a critical role in Pakistan's strategic doctrine. As threats evolve and regional dynamics shift, weapons like the Ra'ad will remain at the forefront of maintaining stability through credible defense. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the most powerful weapons shaping global military technology. If you're interested in more deep dives into cutting-edge defense systems, don't forget to subscribe to Technology Verdon, like this video, and hit the bell icon for updates. Thanks for watching.